Hi, and welcome to The Fun Accountant. My name is Dominique, and this video is part two of a two-part video showing you how to navigate a tax validation failure received from SARS while submitting the Annual Reconciliation Declaration, or your EMP 501. In part one, I taught you how to find where the validation failure occurred when you have used the SARS Easy File channel for submitting the EMP 501. And today, we will fix the failure by correcting an IRP5 tax certificate and resubmitting the EMP501 declaration. Let's get started. Log into your SARS Easy File profile with your login details. Select your company and then click the continue button to access the company's database. In the first part of this series, we found out how to view your validation calculation file. From the data in the file, we could find which employee certificate has a validation failure and what failure has occurred. This means we need to first access the employee admin item in the sidebar menu to the left of the screen. Select View, Edit, Change. Select the View button next to the applicable employee. To the left of the screen, we can see the certificate and its status. Submitted. Select the certificate to open it. How you will go about correcting the failure will depend entirely on the type of failure you received. However, in almost every case, you will need to revert back to your payroll data to investigate where the variation has occurred. Failures are quite rare and occur most often when employers use unreliable payroll software or they do manual payroll on spreadsheets. SageCloud Payroll is a reliable software solution with automatic tax calculations being applied by the software that are consistently and automatically updated as legislative changes take place. This ensures that the statutory deductions performed on employees' remuneration are always accurate, and that reconciliation failures will not occur upon the annual declaration to SARS. You deserve to be assured and confident in the payroll software you use. Visit our website to learn more about Sage Cloud Payroll. In many of these types of IRP5 certificate corrections, the best course of action would be cancelling the incorrect certificate and replacing the old certificate with a new certificate. The particular employee's IRP5 details will be updated and replaced with the new certificate data. The employee's IT12 tax return is updated by clicking on the Refresh Data button at the Tax Return Submission. After you have replaced the old certificate with the new one, the person who was affected will have to update their ITR12 tax return for the new information to filter through by refreshing his tax information for that tax year. Follow the link displayed on screen to a video that we have created to show you exactly how it's done from the individual employee's perspective, whose tax is affected by an employer replacing an IRP5 certificate. Let's get back to EasyFile, where I will carry on with cancelling and issuing a new IRP5 certificate. At the bottom of the Certificate Details window, select Cancel Certificate. A pop-up will appear indicating the certificate has been successfully cancelled. Select Back to Employees and you will see the status of the certificate is now cancelled. Now we need to add a new certificate with the correct data. The failure in this particular case occurred due to take on balances entered into the payroll software when the employer switched his software. There can be many more reasons that force an employer to amend an employee's tax certificate. I'm going to show you this example, but the steps that you take and the principle in doing so remain the same. Hopefully you can use this video as a resource should that happen to you. When you change from one payroll software to another, or you start using a payroll software as opposed to doing payslips and deductions manually, it's common for tax calculations or unemployment insurance fund calculations to differ. In this example, I knew about all the issues pertaining to the employee's deductions and contributions, and therefore I was able to reconcile the difference fairly quickly and amend the tax certificate accordingly. I quickly repopulate the certificate, omitting the previous input error. 
select Save Certificate. A pop-up will appear indicating the certificate has been successfully saved. You will now have two certificates for the employee. One cancelled certificate and the new certificate with a created status. Now we need to perform the annual reconciliation once again and resubmit the EMP501 declaration. In the sidebar menu to the left of the screen, under the item Reconciliation, select Declaration. At the top of the EMP501 declaration window, select the period of reconciliation and then select Revise. Select the Accept Data button. You will then be asked to log in again. Review the EMP501 declaration by comparing the amounts paid from the pay as you earn statement of account downloaded from SARS Easy File to the amounts in the last column. At the bottom of the reconciliation form, the differences should be zero or minimal unless an underpayment or overpayment to the authorities has been made. This will result in an annual declaration liability. In this case, I contribute the differences to rounding. In the left-hand corner, select File and Close from the File drop-down. A pop-up will appear indicating the declaration is ready to file. In the sidebar menu to the left of the screen, under the item Submissions, select Submit to SARS. Your EMP501 will be listed with a ready-to-file status. Check the Submit checkbox and then select the Submit button in the top left-hand corner of the Submission window. Select a folder to save the documents to. You will be asked to log in once more. A pop-up will appear indicating that the EMP501 has been uploaded successfully. Your submission will be processed. A pop-up will appear indicating that the submission to SARS is successful. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something from today's video. And if you did, please like this video before you leave. It helps our channel grow and keeps us motivated to keep creating content for you. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so you can keep joining us as we create videos to help you conquer cloud solutions and take your business to new heights. Let us know in the comments below what topics you would like us to cover. See you next time. Bye.